Hi, it's Sidefell3 here, and uh, sometimes you need a jack that's slightly wider than the uh, cheapo jack that you brought. So rather than buying a new jack, I decided to extend the kind of given legs on the jack to make it more stable for mounting the gearbox onto the C4 that I did. So here I am just measuring up a bit of the old um, metal that I had laying around. It's quite nice thick metal actually. Kind of really need to design the chop saw. So as you can see via this jack, it's quite a skinny jack and I wanted to put the gearbox on it to try and hoik it up underneath the C4, but it was just too unstable. Really? I don't know why I stripped it all the way down. This this powder coat that come on it from the factory is really was a nice good powder coat. So I've marked it off and just gonna clamp it on together now and just gonna tack weld it on both sides. This is using AC. I'm gonna be converting this AC welder to a DC post welder in the up and coming videos. Just making sure my tacks are really well held on because there might kind of there's going to be a bit of weight on this if you know what I mean it's not really taking the full weight of the car but there's going to be a little bit of weight on it. Now a really weird thing happened here when I welded it the weld went either side just not down the middle it went to like the left side and the right side and the middle was completely not welded. So I kind of went over it a few times just to make sure that it was completely welded. Um, I think it's more to do with my stick angle and not driving it in there totally. But if you know another reason why this might have happened, comment below. So these ball bearings, they don't actually ride against anything apart from bare metal so and as you can see here this is my um, clutch tool which I was going to convert into also using as a gearbox cradle I did pre-pilot these holes don't worry I'm not just drilling straight into the hole blind Uh, clean up as you go folks quick file around the edges make sure it's quite nice and smooth nothing worse than nicking yourself and getting cuts on you when you're dealing with cars quick spray paint with the um, U-Pole etch etching primer now I wanted to make sure that these were tight with a locking nut on but not too loose that they would obviously rub or not too tight that they wouldn't spin around. So they could sort of come out roughly the same height as the other one without the uh, 
widening bar. Here I'm just, this is my like, how I was going to plan to use my uh, tool as like a multi-tool so it's kind of like a, a gearbox clutch pressure plate sort of thingy bobby and also it would also serve to hold to lift up a gearbox. Now it kind of didn't really work out as well as what I thought it did but I just thought I'd leave it on here just in case anybody else wants to design something along those sort of lines. Um, the middle of it was a little bit too loose that's what didn't really help too well. Might help for lowering it down next time. I feel free over and out. As always don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell.